importance. Importance arises when something is attributed excess value. Importance represents excess potential in pure form. In the process of eliminating importance, balancing forces create problems for the person that created it. To return to a condition of harmony with the rest of the world and free yourself from the burden of the pendulum, you have to be able to diminish importance. You have to be able to keep your inner observer from dozing off so that it can observe the level of importance you place upon yourself and the world around you. By reducing the level of importance you place on things, you immediately reestablish a state of balance. Reducing importance does not just significantly eliminate problems from your life. Once you have let go of inner and outer importance, you obtain the treasure called freedom of choice. According to the primary principle of transurfing, we automatically have freedom of choice. This is true. We do have the freedom of choice. But often we do not know how to use it because balancing forces and pendulums get in the way. By projecting importance, our entire lives are spent battling with the actions of balancing forces. There is simply not enough energy left over to make conscious choices or think about what we really want in life. Pendulums go out of their way to gain control and enforce their own ideas. What freedom can there be in this? All the importance we attribute to things, be it inner or outer, is simply a projection. No one is of any true importance in this world, and yet the riches of life are available to us all. If you find yourself in a problematic situation, try and determine where you might have placed too much intensity, gone too far, or became obsessive. Consequently, projecting excess importance. Determine the meaning something has for you and then let it go. The wall will crumble, obstacles will disappear, and problems will be resolved of their own accord. Do not try to overcome obstacles reduce their level of importance. Reducing importance does not mean fighting your feelings or trying to suppress them. Excessive emotions and worries are the direct consequence of projected importance. It is the cause that has to be dealt with. And the cause is your relationship to whatever the event or other object happens to be. Try to catch yourself when you are starting to attribute excess importance to some event you are preparing for. If the event is genuinely important to you, try not to blow it up out of proportion. The best recipe for success is spontaneity and a common sense attitude. Any preparation should be by way of creating a safety net, not by being intensely serious and overly careful. This will only increase the level of importance you are attributing to the event. If you are worried about something and yet do nothing about it, this too magnifies the level of importance you give it. The excessive potential of importance dissipates with action. Do not think, act. 
If you cannot act, then it is better not to think at all. Shift your attention to something else. And as far as possible, let go of the situation. The highest level of efficiency in any action is achieved when a person manages to shift the focus of their attention from self and the end goal to the process of performing the action. In this case, the person is not doing important work, nor is the work itself important. Excess potential is eliminated and balancing forces will not interfere. The action is completed dispassionately, but in no way carelessly or lightheartedly.